Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Mixtape Moth, and today I'm gonna hit y'all with a review of a new Remedy album entitled Remedy Meets Wu Tang. Let's get to it. Alright, so Remedy is a rapper and producer and Wu Tang affiliate coming out of the rugged grains of Shaolin, aka Staten Island. Now, Remedy first stepped on the scene in the mid to late 90s. His first Big single, Never Again, was included on the Wu-Tang Killer B's The Swarm compilation in 1998. Remedy's debut album, The Genuine Article, would drop roughly two years later, but it failed to live up to the hype and expectations uh, that his big single, uh, Never Again, set forth. I'm aware that he dropped two albums since then, Code Red, and it all comes down to this. But I can't tell you much about those since I didn't hear either of them. But now Remedy is back in the booth for this fourth studio album named Remedy Meets Wu-Tang. So if you are a Wu-Tang head such as myself, you will likely love the features that Remedy brought with him this time around. He's got Ghostface, Inspector Deck, Capadonna, Street Life, Solomon Childs, Master Killer, Method Man, RZA, Trife Diesel, Killer Priest, and Shaheen. So basically all the original living core Wu-Tang members are present with the exception of Raekwon, Jizza, You God, and for the Wu-Tang affiliates, we're missing some of Sons of Man and Killer Army. The only non-Wu person he enlisted, interestingly, was Conway the Machine. Now, as far as the production is concerned, Remedy and Danny Caezo split those duties. Danny Caezo had also produced Ghostface's 2019 album. This project, Remedy Meets Wu-Tang, clocks in at around the 43 minute mark and contains 14 tracks. But with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The opening track, Modern Day Miracle, contains an unsettling and gothic beat that captures the Wu-Tang essence. Uh, Ghostface sets it off with an ill verse. Remedy sounds hungry and rejuvenated as well. And I'd say it's a strong opener that sets the tone that this is going to be a back to basics Wu censored project. Track two, Death Defying, has a dusty soul beat that's urgent, almost as if warriors are battling it out at the Coliseum. Inspected Deck joins Remedy to spit a fiery verse. Yeah, as a whole, I have no complaints here as the beat is solid and the rhymes are dope. The following track, Sparrow, is a Remedy solo set to a skeletal soul loop. It's a gritty soundscape that channels that raw early 90s flavor and i could even imagine rizza destroying this beat as far as remedy's performance i like his rhyme scheme and his flow change up he was able to drop some jewels while mixing in a bit of braggadocia like yes i'm the realist shallon killer bees raised me to be fearless now track four the pulpit is the hardest offering from the project by far this has a foreboding string loop that is fitting for a cold corner in the winter time capadonna sets this off with a grimy hook and is followed by conway who kicks some heavy jail talk and heavy shooter talk ghostface provides some colorful imagery as expected his flow was sounding really crisp thankfully he raps Clips longer than umbilicals, four crisp yellow coops, rocket launchers will push your living room through the roof. Also, Godfather clocks hang over the Scarface murals, which paints an ill mafioso picture. Yeah, all in all, this was a certified banger. Speaking of bangers, the following track, Crazy Eights, is an electrifying posse cut with eight MCs spinning cypher style over a woo-like beat. The eight MCs included here are Remedy, Ghostface, Capadonna, Inspector Deck, Street Life, Solomon Childs, Master Killer, and Method Man. While everyone came correct, it was Method Man, Ghost, and Street Life who I feel had the best performances. I was hoping that Deck would have wrapped his verse at a faster pace than he did, but it was still solid. Right after is the RZA assisted Supreme Intellect. It's built around a magical boom bap beat with an old dirty vocal sample embedded. Here, Remedy and RZA hit us over the head with some rugged Wu-Tang slang. I dug RZA's enthusiasm on this record and it definitely takes me back to vintage RZA rapping. Track seven, to say the least, is a Remedy solo cut set to a suspenseful and ghostly instrumental. This one finds Remedy 
in his socially conscious bag. He poignantly raps, no justice, no peace, black lives matter to say the least, power to the people, that's the basis, minorities wrongfully killed, too many cases, half the country hates it while the other half is racist, systematic racism, we gotta face it. On greatness, Wu-Tang Killer B's remedy is joined by Chipe Diesel and Solomon Childs. All three spit some razor sharp and rugged rhymes over a stripped back piano sample. Now I haven't heard Chife Diesel rap in a while, but it was good to see that he hasn't lost a step. The following, the recipe is a sexually explicit tale involving Method Man and Cappadonna is backed by a sped up but playful soul beat that is somewhat reminiscent to a couple of the instrumentals on Master Killer's solo debut. But this is a fun and feel good record. Cappadonna can be found repurposing some of his classic lines from Ice Cream, uh, but ultimately Method Man uh, was the standout as expected. The subsequent track, The Art Basil, is another highlight which features strong verses from Ghostface and Shaheem, uh, and the gritty instrumental sounds like it was unearthed from the early 90s. Ghostface spazzes while talking about the shine from his African diamonds and Shaheem spit a raw verse. Some lines that stood out from Shy were, I'm heavy on the suede and terry cloth. Every single one of my boss thoughts comes from a loss. I got an uncle that murder like East New York. Afterwards is Calculated Risk. It's a Remedy solo track that has a soothing and meditative beat and Remedy can be heard giving out game in a wise and mature way. While I could appreciate the sentiment, and I feel it's a decent song overall, I don't have this as one of my favorites. Track 12, Killer B Invasion, featuring Cappadonna and Solomon Childs, has the right energy and lyricism, but a beat that falls uh, short of being great. I believe it samples a portion of Ghostface's Buck 50. Yeah, it's not bad, but I feel the beat could have been a little better. Next to last is the Killer Priest solo record, Noir Story, and it has Killer Priest doing what he does best, which is to spit mystical raps while telling a story. The production consists of a chilly string loop with minimal drums. Uh, I have no issues with this, but I wonder why no one else was featured here. Then the album comes to a conclusion with Never Again. Now, this isn't the first time that Remedy has included this song on his albums, uh, and something tells me this won't be the last either. Although it does seem that he touched up the instrumental a little bit by adding in a violin, which I think was a nice addition. Overall, I give this project a rating of four mics. I feel this was an unexpectedly dope release from Remedy that I'm sure most hardcore Wu heads will enjoy. Remedy was able to successfully put together an album that plays out like a Wu-Tang compilation, is straightforward, raw, and most importantly has Wu-Tang-like beats that sound like Wu-Tang beats. Now, obviously these instrumentals don't have the quirky brilliance associated with the RZA's, True Masters, or Fourth Disciple's 90s production. But uh, Remedy and Danny Caezo uh, get it right for the most part. That being said, it is pretty clear that the features carried this project. I mean, the reality is that uh, had it not been for these impressive Wu features, I likely would have passed on this project. But I got to give Remedy his props for coming across as a hungry curator and rejuvenated MC on his album. As a Wu-Tang fan, it does give me some hope that the clan could have a prosperous upcoming 2022. And the worst case scenario moving forward would be that let's say the Wu members aren't able to grab beats from producers like RZA, Derringer, Alchemist, DJ Muggs, Big Ghost, Eric Sermon or Havoc, let's say they can't get those. Well, then at least we know that Remedy and Danny Caezo could get the job done if need be. My favorite tracks include Modern Day Miracle, The Sparrow, The Pulpit, Crazy Eights, Supreme Intellect, The Recipe, The Art Basil, and Noir Story. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section below. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. But be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Remedy meets Wu-Tang Wong.